Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mohammed Hassan's personal attorney. Now, as we told you moments ago, a prepared statement apparently from this attorney tonight. Bottom line is this, in 10 days at the Great American Bash Taz, well, this attorney's client, Mohammed Hassan, is going to go into perhaps the most important match of his career against The Undertaker, because the winner of that matchup will become the number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship. And I, I you know, I personally, I, I can't think of anything more high stakes than, than, than be, be possibly facing the World Heavyweight Champion. That, that, that's what a number one contender match is about. Uh, but the other question is, who will the World Heavyweight Champion be? That's a great question. Will it be Batista or will it be JBL? They meet in 10 days of the Great American Bash. Later on tonight, Batista claims he's going to make an example of Orlando Jordan, JBL's chief of staff. This should be extremely interesting. My name is Thomas Whitney, Esquire, and I am the legal counsel for Mr. Muhammad Hassan. Mr. Hassan has authorized me to read this statement on his behalf. Mr. Hassan has endured so much emotional distress as a result of the vitriolic hatred he has encountered over the last week. As a result, he has chosen to take a leave of absence from SmackDown. I'd like to remind you that Mr. Hassan is as American as each and every one of you. He has the same rights and privileges under the First Amendment, including freedom of expression. And it is a sad day in America in which someone like my client has found need to retain an attorney to protect his fundamental rights to freedom of speech and freedom from discrimination. Like all other Americans, you should not be prejudiced against Mr. Hassan or his manager, Khosro Davari. Therefore, my client will never again appear here on SmackDown. Until such time as he defeats The Undertaker at a pay-per-view ironically enough called The Great American Bash. And furthermore, my client will no longer be appearing on...
I don't think Hassan's attorney has, has any idea what to make about all this. I do not know your intentions, but sir, need I remind you that I am not a wrestler, sir. I am an attorney. Slam Muhammad Hassan's attorney. I, I, this guy's not a wrestler. I don't. Oh my God! Oh. Right, someone's got to stop this here. This... Who's going to stop it, Taz? I mean, this is ridiculous. Undertaker made very oh well. God. No, no! Not the coop. Don't call no, him. Right, no! 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 Oh my! Say, Taz, that the, the Undertaker's crossed the line here. I don't think he gives a rat you know what about crossing the line. I'll tell you, Cole, I don't know how much money Muhammad Hussein pays his attorney, but it's definitely not enough. I think Undertaker was upset that Hassan didn't show up himself here tonight. You think? He decided to use the attorney to send uh, Mr. Hassan a little message that in Ten days at the Great American Bash. What well, you're seeing in the ring right now may be the fate of Muhammad Hassan. Wow. Merciless. Absolutely. I mean, I understand the disdain and hatred that Taker has for Hassan, but this guy, uh, he couldn't even defend himself. Damn it, he's a lawyer. Wow. 